Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77, and today we're starting a new series that I've been looking forward to for quite a long time. This is Feed the Beast Presents Stone Block 2. Now, I experimented with Stone Block a little bit many months ago, and then, you know what happened? I went to Mind Fair, and I met a couple of the FTB guys, and they talked about this, and how good it is, and how they were going to be releasing it soon. And it's here now. I haven't had a chance to really play this yet, so I'm going to get right into this. So here we go. We're going to go to multiplayer. We're going to go to Union Mines. It's a server I set up with the other Tinker Union members. And we're going to go right in here and see how this looks. Now, like most of the sky blocks, you start off in like a little island. Well, this you start off in a little cave surrounded by stone. The entire world is stone. And that's where you start. Okay. So there's a lot of neat things that are with this. You can see there we are. I've started. Here we are. Looks like Ramnificent and Thomas are online. I've gotten a pet rock, which I don't really care about, some stonium, an apple, and then we have this quest book right here, and there we are. Isn't that cool? So we have uh, the, these various quests we can do. We can go in, we can look at what they are, where it takes to get to each piece, you get rewards and things. This is great, and I'm going to start off on this in just a second. I want to go and make sure my sound is okay because I've been having some troubles. So I'm going to check that out right now on this list cl last clip, and then I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to do this first episode really going through some of the really easy quests. So if you look here, the first quest we have to do is this one right here. This is building the blocks of life, gather pebbles. 16 pebbles. Pebbles are obtained by breaking stone with an empty hand. So we'll just do this. We have to get 16 of them. This is pretty quick, and we're going to go through this pretty quick together. Um, a lot of these quests starting up. Oh, that's not an open hand. There we go. We have six. So this whole area is like a cave in stone, and the whole world is stone now the other players there on this server they are um roughly a thousand blocks away in various directions which is kind of cool so we can go visit them later we can also use some commands to visit them so we're going to do this really quick here there we go all right okay we cleared all that out we got enough of these things now if you look it says a little check mark here has the exclamation that says uh not check mark it says a little exclamation mark says we've completed this. There's the check mark up here. And we'll hit the random reward. And what do we get? Four basic capacitors. That's uh, fantastic. <laughs> What's next? Make cobble. Okay. So we have to get 12 cobble. So basically to get cobble, you take these in here and you get cobblestone. Okay. Now we have to get more cobble. So I'm going to try to dig this whole entire room out eventually. And we're going to make a lot more room. But I have to get more stone like this. It takes a little bit, I know, but once we have it all, there's Thomas with the GG, we can get the next quest. So I'm going to keep on doing this just for a little bit, and yeah, soon we'll have everything. Okay, this one right here should be enough. There we go, and we should have six more, and there we have 12, and there we have that completed. And I'll hit this, hit the random reward. <laughs> Four more basic capacitors. We've got eight of them. We've got capacitors. That's a lot of capacitors. Yes. Okay, one more thing here. This is um, a chest or a crafting table. Now, this chest is a stone chest. And I want to get a chest going pretty quick here. So, if I go to the chest, where is it? There it is, right down here. You can see it takes these four of these sheets. And these sheets are made by two. Of, and they're called stone parts. But uh, you get two of these cobblestones together. So... We need four of them, and there we go. And now we have the chest. I'm gonna put that one right here in the corner. Okay, there we go. I'm also gonna get rid of some of the stuff that I don't need on us right now. I don't even need the book. And there we go. That's another one. Let's grab the reward. Climbing gloves. These are great. I've seen these before. Basically, what these are is they let you allow you to climb a surface. So I, they can also be worn in your bobbles. So right now it says right click to toggle, and right now they're on. So if I walk up to this wall, I can climb up like I'm Spider-Man. And fall down like Spider-Man. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to actually turn this off, though, for now, but we have that. Okay, this is, we're doing really well for the start. I'm enjoying this. I'm so excited. The next quest is to make a stone crafting table. So let's see what that takes. We're going here, crafting table. And there it is. It takes, that's not the right one. There it is down here. Four cobble, and we had four cobble. That's great. And there it is. We have our own stone crafting table. 
I'm gonna go down here and put it down here just because I want to. And there it is, another quest complete. Let's grab the reward. Eight Black Lotus, that's not bad at all. Okay, the next one is, you see this, it's dirt. And you get dirt by using a stone hammer on cobblestone. So we gotta get some more stone. Um, I cleared that out pretty well. Let's go over here and grab some more stone. Soon, we'll be able to just make our own cobblestone, and that'll work a lot better. But for now, we're kind of stuck doing this way to get pebbles, okay? So we have to make a stone hammer first. A stone hammer uh, obviously takes cobblestone, but it would normally take sticks, but we don't have any wood. So how do we get the sticks? Well, there is a recipe made out of cobblestone for sticks, okay? So we're going to get that right here. I think it's called a stone rod, not a stick. Okay, so we're going to go right here. And we're going to do a stone rod, is it? Yes. A stone rod takes three cobblestones. Let's make this cobblestone right here. We got six. Don't do that right there. Oh, one more, sorry. There we go. And then two sticks, and like that. And we have a stone hammer, which is awesome. That's one of the tasks. If you look here, see this one has check mark. The dirt has not does not. So we'll hit this. We'll hit it once. It makes gravel. That's a very common mechanic we've seen in other mod packs. If we hit it again, it makes dirt. We've just got dirt. Let's get the reward. Reward collected. Ooh, a 4K. Oh, sorry, four, <laughs> four 64K ME components. That is nice. That'll really help us when we get to the point of doing AE, which is a storage system. Um, that'll be great. So what is next? Let's keep on going here, guys. This one is a crook. It says get a stone crook. With the stone crook can be used to, on dirt to get any vanilla sapling. Okay, so for a crook, let's make sure we can see what the recipe is. Is it rods or is it cobble? Cobblestone, and so we need to get some more cobblestone. Um, I don't think we can hit this stuff with this. What does it do? Oh, see, there you go. It does give you cobble quickly. So we don't have to any longer hit it with our hands. We just get cobblestone like that. Fan. Fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna go in here. We're gonna hit this. There we go. And we have a crook Okay, now you Hit the dirt you Hit it with a crook And it gives you a sapling. This is a spruce sapling I'm not sure if the spruce sapling actually works very well. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get another one Let's see here. We'll get another piece I'd like to get an oak or a birch because I know those will grow in this environment it might not grow because of the height i'm a little worried about that and there's an oak awesome okay so now if we could just get one more piece of of uh dirt here we'll grab that and we'll get some dirt we'll plant this and we'll start to get some wood okay and there's the oak. We have a tree now, okay? While we're waiting for that, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna collect this one, this reward. An invar hammer. This is excellent because with this type of hammer, we can knock off three spots at once. If I wanna go this direction, boom, look at all that. All right here, I'm trying to keep it a little bit even. Well, there, we already have a lot of cobblestone on us. That's great. Okay, what else have we done here? Have we done anything yet? Right now it is basically gather wood. We have to get 16 wood. So we're going to do this for a little bit now. You can what's called twerk, which is basically if you hit the shift button a bunch and you're standing close to it in certain spots, I think. Yeah, you can see the sparkles there, and we did. We just got this uh, massive tree. I'm going to hit it with the crook. Look at that. We got six more saplings, a silkworm, and an apple. Now we just got to get this uh, material down. So let's just start to get this up there. And uh, I'm going to keep doing this until I get 16 wood, okay? So I will be back in just a minute. All right, we have a rather large tree here. We're going to get the crook on it because we want to get all the materials there. Look at all that. Oh, wow. We've got a bunch of saplings and silkworms and things. And now when we get this, we should get enough wood. And there it is. Now we've completed that quest. And it looks like we've completed another task for another quest. We're gonna get this right here. We're gonna get the random reward 2x of a mechanical crafter. That's really cool. Okay, now here's something interesting. We've got another division here, a direction we can go. Now this one is getting silk, collect string from silkworms. Basically, you put the silkworms and you once you have a tree, you put the silkworms on it, they'll spread, and then you can get string out of it. 
or we can go down here and do tinkering, which is making all of these things. Now, if you notice here, this is one thing I've seen before. This one goes down to the tinkering one and it goes over, but it doesn't go over from here. You can see the arrows point towards it. So to get this one, you have to go both this way and this way. So this means we have to go clear around. Isn't that kind of neat? So I'm gonna grow another tree here and we're going to infest it, okay? All right, the tree is grown. We're gonna stick a lot of these worms in. We don't really need them at the moment for anything else. So I'm just gonna see about trying to get this done as quick as possible. You gotta wait for them. I don't know, up there, there we go. And let's see, let's do up there. Okay. And they're going to change eventually. See how they're getting wider? And we're gonna wait for a little bit and then we're going to use the crook on it. All right, let's use this crook. It should give us some string. Here we go. And there we have the string, which completes that other quest. And I'm going to also get this uh, wood out. There we go. Okay, so let's go see what we get for that. String, random reward, inventory, crafting table. This thing, I've seen this before in other packs. This is great. We're going to use it right now. This is a great reward. Because uh, what it says is eat this to uh, um, upgrade your inventory. Now, I, as you can see, it gives you a lot of food. And I need a lot of food. We unlocked inventory crafting. Now check this out. This is our inventory crafting. Just like normal Minecraft, you have two, four spots here, two by two. You press the C. I now have a three by three grid on my character at all times. That's a fantastic thing to have. That what a great reward that was. I made a furnace because I really wanted to get some charcoal, and I'm, with that I made some torches because it's getting dark in here, as you can see. Now I'm going to press the F7 key, and what that does is it brings up these little grids. And it has two different colors, red and yellow. Red means that a mob could spawn there, okay? So if I go over here and I put a torch down, you can see it kind of lit that area up and this red area disappeared. And all I'm doing right now is just making sure that this is very secure. I'll even put one there just in case, so that no mobs will spawn. Now, they won't right now because I'm close, but as I start to expand, I might forget to do that. And yeah, we don't want um, mobs spawning here. So, okay, I think we're good. Now it's time for the next quest. And this one I can go two different ways. And we will have to do both of them eventually. But right now there is this way here, which is making a sieve. Um, this is letting you uh, sift through materials to get items, okay? But this other way up here, you can see the arrow goes up here, is finding ores. And it says the overworld has no ores. It is entirely made of stone. The only way to find ores is to dig your way up to the top of the overworld and be teleported to the mining dimension that is full of ores, okay? So I think we should try to do this. Now I have on me some wood. I'm gonna have cobblestone as I start to go up. So I'm gonna make a pick and we're just kinda gonna go up and see what we can do now. I probably should make some more torches too. I'm gonna make some stuff and we're gonna start to go up here and I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. Actually, I can do a little bit of it right now instead of just showing. So let's make some sticks. There we are, and I'll make some torches, or not torches, some uh, picks. I think it's gonna take a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna basically do something like this here. And then we go up one, like that. And we keep on going up, okay? And I will have to put torches down so that no mobs spawn, because you can see there's a spot here where they could. But the idea is we're going to go all the way up and make a staircase going up so that we don't like fall down through a ladder hole or that sort of thing. It's going to take me some time, and I'm going to go ahead and do this with some torches. And when we get close to the uh, mining dimension, I will let you know. All right, guys. I actually mined clear through it, but uh, you can see there's bedrock up in the ceiling. Um, and so here we go, and we get up here, and I believe it automatically teleports you into the mining dimension. And as you can see here, I've already been here once, I actually dug that out, but we are in the mining dimension now, and this is the area that you can look for ores. I'm going to just kind of make this open a little bit here. Like that. So I can see what's going on, and look, we already have some ores there, that's awesome. Let's see what we get. What is that? Some silver ore. This is fantastic. This is great. We can get lots of different things here. Now, I assume we have a vein miner. I'm trying to find some iron or some other materials um, so that we can get uh, the various uh, tools that we need to get this thing. Like, here's some black quartz. Now, to return, I think all I have to do is just go right to here, and it takes me all the way back. 
and there we are. Now it puts you relative to where your spot is, if you see that, okay? And that's not where I want to be. So when you go up here, I put a torch. This torch is where I need to go to when I want to go back, okay? Does that make sense? So now I have to kind of like dig around here. Let's find some materials. I gotta find, I got some silver, I got some lead. We can get uh, the, what we need out of this, but I've gotta find other materials. And this Invar hammer is gonna be awesome for this. As you can see, we're gonna be able to mine pretty quick with this. Redstone. Now there's some, uh, this is a torch right here. I know it was right there. Let's see, if can we put something else, another block? I'm gonna put this wood block since that's the one we don't know. We'll know specifically that that's what that is. Here we go. Dig here. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to keep on mining here and just see what I can get. Hopefully I can get some iron or some gold and some other things so we can get some uh, good tools made. Okay. I came back down here. What I wanted to do was I wanted to use this cobblestone that I did mine to get some stairs. So we're going to make some stairs here in a second. And also to get some torches. And wow, I don't need that many torches right there. Okay. That's fine. The thing will spawn there. That's good. I turned that on or off. So now let's go get our reward because we did it here. And what's it going to give us? More black lotus. Wow. So now we have 16 black lotus. That's pretty cool. I'm going to go back up. I'm going to put down these stairs I'm going to make right here. And let's make sure we can do that. I hope the recipe didn't change. There it is. Looks like not. Okay. So we're going to make a bunch of stairs. I know I'm going to have to lean a bunch. This goes up pretty high. What the heck? There we go. Okay, so just gonna be doing this pretty easy. Stair, stair, not upside down, Tinker. Everybody's making bonsai trees. We'll probably be making one of those soon. So I'm gonna go up and then we're gonna continue to mine. This is gonna be fantastic. I can't wait, but look how far up I gotta go. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, one of the things that I wanna do here before I go today, I definitely want to have a bonsai pot, okay? We're gonna make the one that's a hoppering bonsai pot. We have to make a hopper, we have to make a bonsai pot, and we're gonna have to make a storage crate. I think the crates are the best things ever, and here they are, and you can see it takes chests, it takes all this other stuff. So we have a bunch of wood here. I'm gonna take half of that and make that into planks. There we go. And we know we're gonna need chests, so I'm gonna go over here and make just make a stack of chests. And there we have that, okay? And we need to make casing, which is that right there. We should have all that on us, okay? And I just grabbed a book. Uh, what's that? I'll check that out in a minute. Okay, so there we have a crate. Good, we have the crate. And we got a quest for that, which is good. I'm going to put this over here. I made a little room where I can just start growing saplings. And they grow, and I'll just grab them. Um, that way we're at least growing some. Uh, maybe I won't put it there. <laughs> Let's just put it over here for now. Okay, here's our crate. There we go. Now, I want to get the, the bonsai pot, okay? which is this right here. It takes bricks. Oh, we gotta get some clay. Now see, there we go. To get clay, we have to go clear down this part right here. So let's start that up then. We have to get a sieve and a string mesh. Well, the string mesh is easy. We'll grab some string, there it is. Okay. I think we're gonna need some slabs. There we go. And now we can make a sieve right there. Boom, okay, I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna put it over here so it gets out of our inventory. And then if we need to use it, we can, okay? Makes sense, guys? I hope it does. Okay, so that was that one. Let's get that reward real quick. Here it is, what did we get? A spawner changer, okay, an oak crucible. Let's see what that is. We gotta make that, okay, oak crucible. Uh, right there. Okay, we got that. I'll put that one over here. Let's go get that reward. More, four more capacitors. We have capacitors like crazy. Okay, and then what's the next one here? Clay. Basically, you gotta get water and put the water in there and get dust. Now, we do have some iron here, so I'm thinking I can get an infinite water source pretty easy if I set this up now. So I might do this pretty quick. Let's put some of this in here, and this will slowly generate water. You can see it's very slow, so I'm gonna have to do another cut here. But I think I can do with two buckets worth, I can get enough to, uh, yeah, to get an infinite water source. So let me uh, go do some stuff here and we'll see if that works. All right, guys, I was able to get two water sources and 
make those with a bucket of water. So now I can just grab the bucket and throw it in here and we have it ready to go. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna take this all the way down to dust. See where the gravel, there it is. I got a big inventory, I gotta sort some of this stuff out. DSA would probably just say, what are you doing? Because DSA always hates the fact that I'm never sorted. And let's use this hammer here, there we go. He has some dirt and I'm not gonna put it on my dirt spot there because if I did that, well, it would take my dirt too. Okay, we're trying to get down to dust. There's some sand. The reason why we want dust is because when you put dust in the water, it makes clay. Okay, so we go like here. There it is. Boom, we got some clay. Run right over here, grab that. I'll throw it over here. I probably can move this closer, so I'll do that in a second here. Okay, there it is. It's closer. <laughs> and it goes right here. Okay, do. Uh, that's bad. That didn't work out the way I wanted it. But if I get rid of this... Hmm. Okay, there we go. Gotta get the bucket. Here we go. Wow, that was almost a derp, wasn't it? It was a partial derp. So now we're gonna get enough clay. Oh, get the water and do that. There we go. So hopefully now we have enough to work with. Okay. Now these, you can just break these uh, with your hand, I believe, to get clay balls. And there you are. So now we can put these in here, these eight, and they will make bricks. We'll be back in a minute and we'll have those bricks. I went back to the mining dimension to get a little bit more iron so that we can make a hopper because I really want to get this bonsai uh, plant going. So we're going to go down here now and hopefully we have what we need. While I was there, I did get these um, shards, prosperity shards, and it did give us a, another quest that uh, we completed. So we'll have to look for those in just a little bit. But right now, I just want to see if I can get some of this iron that I have here. I got 13 more pieces of iron. I got a lot of stuff I need to get rid of, too. Um, we got the brick. There's our brick. Let's put the iron in here, get that going. Let's, um, I'm just going to throw some stuff in here for now because I don't need to have all of this on me, right? Kind of crazy taking it everywhere. There we go. I'll put that up there. Okay, so now we have eight bricks. And so we do this right here. And we get the bonsai pot. Now we also want to make a hopper. And if you recall, the hopper takes iron. And we have four. We need one more piece of iron. We're going to wait for it here. Look at the arrow go. Go, arrow, go. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of slow. There it is. Okay. So now we should be able to make a hopper. Which, if it's still the default recipe, should be this. And there it is. Now we take the hopper and the bonsai pot and we have a hopping bonsai pot. Okay, now what you do with this is you have to put it on here and it acts like a hopper into this, okay? Now you do need some dirt. I'm just gonna grab a piece of, oh, I'll grab this dirt right here. You put the dirt in the pot and there it is. And now we can plant a tree. Now I'm not gonna plant any old tree. I'm gonna make an apple tree. And I believe, let's see about this. There's an apple sapling, so we can get apples. Right there. It's three apples and any sapling, and we have that. And here we go. Oh, it fell in my hole. And boom, there it is. And you can see there's a little tiny little tree forming, and it will grow. And once it grows, it gets harvested automatically. Now, it doesn't produce everything, but it produces a little bit, and it'll be in this storage crate. It will be sticks or wood or leaves or apples. And that is really cool. So let's just wait here a second and we'll see what it has this time. It'll probably be like a stick. I get sticks all the time. But that's okay because now we have some sort of like food that is being produced for us over time. Okay, and that's really one of the first things we want to do here. Okay, here we go. Boom. Grow a bonsai tree. We got another achievement. And look, we got an apple. That's awesome. I'm going to put the apples in here and some of this wood in here because we know we're going to get those. And we're also going to get sticks. So this will be my place where I go to get that stuff. Okay, so uh, let's go see now what quests we've done. We've gotten the clay. What do we get for that? Another set of climbing gloves, which you don't need. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see here. I'm just going to zoom out. Nothing else is on this one. But there's a little exclamation mark up here by the storage area. And it looks like we have done this one, a small crate. And what do we get for it? 8x chance cubes. What do you think, guys? Think I should open up these chance cubes? Maybe we will in a little bit. Let's just go see. Okay, we got another one of these on the magical agriculture. It is this one right here. Get a property, a prosperity shard. And 
Oh my gosh, we got two drops of evil. Guys, with this drop of evil, this is great. We can make a mob farm. That might be what the next thing we do in the next video is make a mob farm. I don't want this on me here. This is over here. Um, I'm going to wait on the chance cubes. We're going to open those next time. Okay, guys? Um, I, I, I don't feel quite secure without having armor and things, nor do I have a place built to fight them. Okay? So we'll have to do that next time. All right, guys, that's all I've got time for for this episode. I'm going to start recording probably back to back here shortly so that we'll have another one ready to go in the next couple of days. So I won't be seeing your comments for that. But uh, yeah, just keep the comments coming because I want to hear your reaction to this. I want to see what you're saying, some of the derps that I've made and, and all that stuff. Let me know what it is, okay? Let me know what I did wrong or what I did right, okay? If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, 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 <laughs> put them down in the comment section. I like to read those and I try to respond um, a little slow with it, but I get to them. And of course, if you'd like to be notified of the videos I pr produce, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon right beside the subscribe button. That button lets you get all of the notifications, okay? So you see everything that I produce. And if you're new here, please subscribe. It, it only takes a second, and it's very helpful for me, okay? So until next time, guys, thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.